Most of you probably don't know this, but you can thank Besiege that I decided to do YouTube full time. After noticing a Twitter post from Matt Challen, a games journalist of sorts, go check him out, and watching the alpha release video, I bought Besiege instantly. I was one of the first people to put a video of the game on YouTube, and as soon as Nerdcubed made a video of it, shit blew up. Unfortunately, back then I was still a bit stupid and I didn't know how to make a proper entertaining video, but the spike that I received from the game, plus some personal issues, made me quit college and focus on YouTube completely. Best decision ever. As a game, Besiege had the perfect alpha release, pretty much bugless, with enough features to be creative and functional on several different levels, and with a low price. It was the best possible combination for a successful game. I loved it because of the medieval aspect, I'm a pretty big fan of the medieval era, and when a creative and simple game came, I got very interested to play it. Of course, even after many many hours, I was still a complete idiot when it comes to creating things, so I started showcasing others' creations. I did make Besiege tutorials that were greatly accepted, but unfortunately I didn't expand that style onto my other Besiege videos because I was a lazy bastard, which resulted with a decline in views and in my interest for the game, so it started appearing less and less on the channel. As a creative person I should have tried harder to learn to make complicated machines, and that was my mistake, because this game is magnificent and it is one of the best games I have played this year. I noticed the Mad Max game way back at the start of 2014, and I got very interested in it, because the open world desert sounded very appealing, and I always liked the Mad Max movies. After realizing that the developers are Avalanche Studios, that created the Just Cause series, my interest spiked even more. Once the game was out, I livestreamed it for a week and played around 40 hours. The Batman-esque fighting, incredibly fun driving and strongholds made this game much better than I ever hoped for. Whenever I played it, I always wanted to do more, kill more bastards, destroy more towers, develop more strongholds and most importantly upgrade my car. The relationship between Max and his car is very amusing and the more you play the more you start caring about the damn car. I don't ever plan to drive and I know nothing about cars but this damn game managed to make me care about it. This is why it's on my list. It made me care about the fucking car. The game that brought life to the city builders after that horrible shitbag of a game called SimCity. After playing the game, anyone can notice how the developers focused quite a bit on traffic rather than city development. Since they are the same developers that made cities in motion, this didn't surprise me. What surprised me was the lack of options for traffic control. Cities in motions had a shit ton of options, but most of it was removed in city skylines. Luckily, the game was built in a way where modding is highly encouraged. I wonder what would be the difference if they made the game supremely perfect, but without modding capabilities. Would that bring more sales but lower community activity? Because this is the city building genre, compared to other games the community isn't as big as one would assume, so I wonder, did they build the game to be okay instead of amazing because of modders, or because they simply didn't have time or money for it? The game also received its first DLC that came with a day and night update. While the DLC itself didn't seem to add a lot of content, the actual game got improved in many ways, because combined with the day and night cycles, you could do much more within your city. Unfortunately, the game isn't very difficult in any way. Traffic creates problems from time to time, but aside from that, it is very easy to play, even at hard mode. Despite the lack of fuckery and the excessive amounts of shitty water that the game has, it belongs on my list because I enjoyed it immensely. You're probably throwing babies at the screen and shitting all over your rugs because Fallout 4 isn't first on the list. It isn't first because it isn't the best game I played this year. Simple as that. Actually, it is nowhere near the best game I played this year, but thanks to YouTube, I'm enjoying it way more than I would if I wasn't making videos. As a gamer, I wouldn't put this game even on my top 10 list, but as a human being who enjoys things, I'm placing it second, because the settlement building aspect of the game, combined with the community on YouTube, which is enjoying my videos, is bringing me way too much enjoyment. The game itself is just not interesting to me at all. The story is useless and the dialogue is useless, you can't really affect anything in the world, all you do is run around, kill things and press A on your gamepad when talking to people. Upgrading your special is mostly irrelevant, because you can easily find the XO1 armor and fuck everyone up, regardless of your stats. The settlement building is also completely idiotic, my castle video is a prime example, everyone loves it because my frustrations are their frustrations. Pretty much all of my Fallout 4 building videos are successful because the game is about 60% completed, and everyone struggles to build things. Luckily the existence of YouTube and my channel is making Fallout 4 very enjoyable, almost more enjoyable than every other game, except for one. 
This may come as a surprise, but Rocket League is by far my most favorite game ever. Ever since I got it, I have been playing it every single day. Every match lasts 5 minutes, which makes it very easy to just get into it for a few minutes and play a bit. Sometimes if you really have a good game, you decide to play a bit more, and sometimes that ends up lasting 5 hours. It is a really simple game, you have a car and a ball. You have to get that ball into goal using your car. You can fly as well. The best thing about it is that it is very easy to play, and yet if you want to become a good player, you will need to put a lot of effort into your car control and learn how the ball will bounce off the walls and the ground. However, the game is mostly multiplayer, and I generally dislike multiplayer games. Rocket League is an exception only because my enjoyment from playing exceeds the irritation I feel when playing with others. As a player with over 300 hours of game time, I get mostly paired up with competent people who understand that passing and waiting is also possible in the game, other than chasing the ball and flying all over the place, so most often the irritation is minimal. I'm not trying to say that I'm the best player in the universe, but I do believe I play really well on my good days. Sure, sometimes I suck ass when I don't focus, but sometimes you need to suck ass in order to realize how smelly and shitty it is. It is very difficult for me to explain how such a simple game can be my favorite game, but there you go, this is my game of the year 2015. You probably noticed how I talked about my channel when talking about most of these games. Besiege, City Skylines and Fallout 4 are all games in which you can build shit and share it with others. As such games, I don't believe I would care about them if I didn't have my channel. You could say that I'm playing all of them because I make videos, because of YouTube, but shouldn't that be a good thing? My willingness to play a game is fueled by the people who are willing to see what I do. The more people there are who want to see what I do, the more I will want to play something. Since YouTube is an extension of my gaming experience, I don't think that this list is gonna be very useful to anyone other than potentially other YouTubers who want to use their channels to enjoy games more but it is what it is. I would like to thank the 98% of new viewers that came thanks to Fallout 4. I hope you will stay with me in 2016 and join me on the quest towards half a million beautiful bastards. I will do my best to bring you great videos of many different games and hopefully they will all satisfy both you and the gods. Thanks for watching and make sure to always leave your thoughts in the comment section, it helps me get inspiration for future videos, especially if you comment saying something extremely disturbing. I have been Petard, your glorious lord, and may the blessings of Petardia eternally touch your butt. Really, really, sad you listen to the voice. You're a pass, mater, idiot. You're a pass, mater, idiot. And you and your family, which is a mater. Slušaj ovo sranje. Pička ti materina bezobrazno. Jebem ti Boga Isusa. Kurac. I shall persevere through the fucking music of the fucking neighbor.